These machines are tough, gritty, and can take on the toughest of conditions. And best of all, they make food production and farming operations super easy. Starting with the hydraulic-operated Dipper Fox Stump Crusher 850 Pro. This is one of the most efficient and powerful vertical stump grinders on the market, and it can be attached to an excavator weighing between 14 to 30 tons and requires a minimum of 100 horsepower. It's ecologically friendly and can be used to remove large numbers of tree stumps to ensure the complete removal of obstacles while preparing the fields. A single drill may take around 8 seconds, and it also requires a minimum oil flow of 110 per minute and a pressure of at least 180 bar. Make way for the Copper Radish Harvester, self-propelled, fully automated, and an embodiment of efficiency and high performance. It racks up 4,000 bunches per hour and is equipped with hydraulic drive and a top-tier Kubota diesel engine. It's not only economical to use and maintain, but also sustainable. The Barco 240 Dangle is used as both a stand operating thinner and a feller buncher. It packs a solid 220 horsepower on a diesel engine, featuring an auto-reversing fan, a temperature control system, and a boom reach of 27.1 feet. A special hydraulic system is added to the machine to improve harvesting. Steep slopes are a serious challenge to agriculture machines, and slope hazards are always a possibility when working on hilly terrain in the rainy season. This is where the Peck Automotive Slope Helper comes in. This heavy-duty machine is a smart solution to helping vehicles maintain balance and stability on slopes. Marvel at the brute force of the Ponzi Bear, a forest beast with 340 horsepower engine and 1300 newton meters of torque. The crane can rotate 250 degrees and even tilt 80 degrees, and with incredible power and eight solid wheels, it's no surprise that the machine is stable on steep slopes. It also owes its stability to the traction assistance winch system, which keeps it stable no matter the terrain. Next up is the Rugged Rotney H8D Thinning Harvester, built for the toughest of terrain. This machine is explicitly built for stand operating thinning, its compact structure allows it to maneuver through forests and trees, and the pendulum arm balances out the weight of the machine in any direction while crossing steep slopes. It can also delimb multiple stems at the same time. The H8D generates 168 horses at 2,000 RPM. Next up is the incredibly massive AGCO Challenger. It's called the world's largest tractor for a reason. The Challenger is 16 feet wide, 24 feet long, and weighs a jaw-dropping 30 tons, featuring a six-cylinder Caterpillar engine that delivers 570 horses and a 390-gallon fuel tank. To top it off, the beast moves at a maximum speed of 24.6 miles an hour. The Terran 1520 compacting roller makes its way across the field with its wide rollers and a working speed of 8 to 11 kilometers per hour. It has a 15.2 meter working width and a transport width of 2.8 meters. The 1520 is specifically useful for compacting and grading. Check out the ultimate firewood processor, the Spaltfix K415 by Posh Leibniz. The machine is built to conveniently split wood trunks into smaller bits and can easily be operated by a single person. Three main parts contribute to the overall working process. The wood is first lifted automatically and then placed on a table that feeds to a rotating saw blade. The blade dices the wood into 15 centimeter trunks and these then pass through a set of knives that further split into four to six pieces. The light sensors ensure maximum safety while splitting the wood for storage. Meet the CleanTech Infra, an amphibious machine designed for aquatic weed removal, dredging, floating, trash collection, sludge removal, phytoremediation, and other major activities. It has a 50-foot reach and can rotate 360 degrees, so whether it's a river canal or a lagoon, CleanTech has got you covered. Here's the Tiger Mulcher 480B, an indomitable forest monster that's capable of dominating the most challenging of terrain. It features a robust construction, durable tracks, and a solid Tier 4 engine that delivers a decent 480 horsepower for quick load response and excellent power while achieving significant fuel efficiency. All hail the Kubota New Agri Concept, one of the flashiest and most luxurious electric autonomous vehicles of the modern age. This fully electric machine redefines the concept of automation in agriculture with its exceptional and precise technology. It's used for a wide variety of tasks like hauling, plowing, tilling, and more, and boasts six independent drive motors and recharges from 10 to 80% in just six minutes. 
The Ecolog 668 is another powerful forestry machine that can cut and delimb many trees in just a few moments. The Agile Harvester comes with a Volvo Penta engine delivering a modest 285 horsepower and a maximum torque of 1,237 newton meters. It has a cab that can rotate 350 degrees, not to mention its 38 wheels for balance. While its chassis can tilt to 24 degrees, bear in mind that the operator's cab can also tilt 16 degrees. Its excellent mobility makes it a force to be reckoned with. Here's the Class Lexion 8900, one of the most powerful combine harvesters in the field, which is also one of the most fuel efficient. This colossal machine pushes 790 horsepower while harvesting 94 to 100 tons per hour. With almost 500 bushel capacity, it can move at a speed of 25 miles per hour and empty its load in just under 100 seconds. Next up is Oscar by Osiris, the autonomous crop care robot built for various farm operations like fertilization, irrigation, and more. It can manage 25 hectares of land with a 10% water usage reduction, and it will save you a lot of time and energy. The Watermaster is an amphibious multi-purpose dredger designed to clear invasive aquatic vegetation and waste. It's especially applicable in the excavation and pile driving of river and seashores, and the machine is controlled remotely, utilizing its powerful hydraulics and changeable attachments to get the job done. This is the unsung hero of forest harvesting, the Logset 12H GTE Hybrid. This big daddy has all the advanced technology you need to upscale your forestry business. The hybrid technology works directly with the crane's workload, providing an extra power boost when required. It pulls a tractive force of 230 kilo newtons and can climb very steep slopes. Its Agco Stage 5 engine delivers a decent 291 horsepower at about 1200 newton meters of torque and 1500 revolutions every minute. Its engine roar may be quiet, but the beast remains one of the largest harvesters in the world. This machine has a spray width of 54 meters and can retract when necessary. The AgriFact trailed sprayer makes it easy to spray pesticides, fertilizer, and other chemicals on a large area in the shortest time possible. It features thin wheels that allow it to navigate through fields without causing any damage to the crops, and the wheel spacing can be adjusted from 24 to 49 meters, with a green flow plus system that regulates the spray pressure for optimum capacity. Looking for a modern farm assistant who can spray pesticides, transport heavy loads, sow seeds, and conduct other farm operations without necessarily being on a pay schedule? Well, the multifunction Orchard Robot S450 Autonomous Crop Care is exactly what you need. It's 190 centimeters in length and 120 centimeters in width, having a 450 liter fuel tank, which also utilizes electricity as a power source. And best of all, it can cover up to 5.93 acres in an hour. What you're looking at is the Borgalt 7950 Air Seeder, a machine that specializes in planting seeds, featuring a combined tank capacity of 950 bushels that allows you to drill up a whole field without the need to reload. The interesting part about this machine is that it exerts very minimal pressure on the ground, even when it's full. Thanks to the Car Anatus Autonomous Weeding Cobot, your weeding needs are completely taken care of. And the best part is, it has emergency safety features, a LiDAR system for a clear 265 degree vision, and a 7 hour battery, which is pretty cool. This is the HariBot by HariTech, a drilling and crop management machine that tracks, analyzes, and redirects attention to areas that require more nutrients, moisture, and other requirements. You don't need chemicals for pest control when you have the Lunatrick UV Light Pest Control Robot. The UV light ensures effective pest management and does not lose efficacy. It destroys the cells of pathogens, which negatively impacts crop yield. No vineyard is too narrow for the compact Exact Robotics Tracks Autonomous Vineyard Machine. This bad boy is designed for easy maneuverability and precision with zero emissions. It packs a 56 horsepower diesel engine with a 110 liter fuel tank, a maximum speed of six kilometers per hour, and an autonomy duration of about 18 to 20 hours. Pause for a moment and have a look at this little guy. The Turtle Robot Solar Weeder is a resilient weed whacker that takes away the need for long hours of human labor. It operates with precision and works for hours on end. This little bot is unstoppable. 
Unless you're very up to date with the latest farming technology, you've probably never heard of the Smart Machine Oxen. This precision farm machinery harnesses the power of IoT connectivity and advanced predictive analytics to provide solutions for farming challenges, enhancing sustainability and productivity. The massive Case IH9240 Combine Harvester is equipped with modern technology that improves power, navigation, control, and the ability to cover huge areas in the shortest time while improving harvest quality. The Combine weighs 46,000 pounds with a wheelbase of 147 inches. It has a transport length of about 26 feet and a 45-foot header with 410 bushel tank. It unloads 4.5 bushels per second and features a solid Case IH FPT engine delivering 645 horsepower to improve productivity. Pay attention to the Tippard 350 Autonomous Carrier Platform, a machine that transports various agricultural goods all throughout the terrain. Thanks to a robust design, it navigates using sensors and GPS, utilizing electricity as a power source. It can handle a higher payload. That's all for this episode, and if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you never miss one of our videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.